Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Spellweaver. And normally today we'd be having Spellweaver changes where we look at all the changes, but guess what? They haven't pushed any on Tuesday. So we're going to have to actually wait until they do a push before I can have another episode of that. So today we're just going to go take out the Alexa deck and see if we can't play some people and or AI. So let's go ahead and get this party started and see if we can find some people to play with. Okay, it looks like we've got somebody and it's going to be Grey Power. All right, Grey Power. Well, I would really, really... Oh, I took out the wrong Alexa deck. No, this one's going to suck. Why do I even have this one still? Okay, um, we'll just go straight corruption and we're going to put... Soldier's Memorial back, and we're gonna whiff, so that's that's wonderful. Alright, Grey Power, you are going to win this one, buddy, because this deck is awful. And as a bonus, it's not even built properly. Okay, so I didn't I didn't check my deck, and that is my fault. But we finally got somebody out. So he's going to go for the super fast Titan play, which is fantastic for him. Unfortunately, I'm going to, to murder that guy to death. Yep, that guy right there. Ooh. Okay. Well, you can do that. He's going to poke you and you're going to kill him. All right. Well, we will man in a card. We will flush sculptor. Bring her to the background, and you'll have to sacrifice that guy. And then I guess we'll just go ahead and restless tombs. I guess. Because we'll get a zombie and have a zombie on the board. Oh, why didn't he have to sack that guy? Oh wait, Flesh Sculptor is non-summoned creature dies. That's not the Blood Witch Harpy. Oh, this deck is just so bad. So bad. Okay, so this is the zombie thing that I apparently thought was a good idea and it turns out to be an absolutely terrible idea. So... Wow, this deck is so... I need to just delete this deck. This deck is getting deleted. It's just the worst. Ah. Okay. Well. All right, so I could summon a militia. They will be super fast. They won't be able to kill that guy. Because I can't block with all three. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this deck is so bad. Why do... Why? That's all I'm asking myself right now is... Is why, Merrick? Why do you have this deck? What were you thinking when you made it? And won't you think of the children? Um, okay, so... Zombie Legionnaire. Um... Make them deadly. And we will swing for two. Just so that we can get on the board for something. I, I better have, like, hands from beyond the grave or something in order to equalize this, because this is, this is terrible. So he should be able to make a twin that is just beefy and speedy as heck. And there's not going to be anything I can do to interact with that outside of spells. Okie doke. Um, uh, yeah. So there goes what little edge I had. Okay. 
Got no recourse. Got no hope. Got no hope. Great power's gonna kill me because I got no hope. Loopy doopy doop. <laughs> oh, and I got no mana. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Steel host, go away. Yes, that's exactly what I was not caring about. So there we go. We'll put Undead Necromancer on the field next. But it doesn't do any good because this deck is terrible. Uh. Ooh, there we go. Level two or less enters the field. Sack it and then sack the Jungle Death Trap. And there's the big bad. The big, very bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Oh, that's... That's... The Illusion Twin is just... Oh, it's just so tasty. Alright, so that worked. Got rid of that guy. Whew, I was worried that... That, <laughs> that we weren't going to be able to get rid of that guy anytime soon. Oh. This is just so one-sided. I think Grey Power expects this deck to be something a little bit more impressive and um it's not. It's just really not. Yeah, because he's working on, on removing my troops. And really what he should just be working on is just going ahead and ending it. Okay. Alright. And okay. Well, I can kill that guy if I get a Noxious Fumes. But ultimately, I think that we are pretty much toast. Um, well, we can play that guy for free. Not that it helps us or anything. But there we go. Okay. So these guys are deadly, but they can't interact with anything. That guy is just silly, and he's useless. And these guys... Well, I mean, you can just look at their art and go, Oh yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> uh, oh. Come on, Grey Power. You got this, buddy. Just go all in. So if you go all in, you can do 2, 4, 8, 10, 11, 11 damage. Max. All right. Now you can do 13 damage. I think he's trying to do the math. All right, you're going to get me within one. Can you can you do more? You can! Fantastic! Good job, guy. Thank you for ending it. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go to my collection, or my heroes here, and make sure we're not using this shit show of a deck. Let's go to the one that's actually slightly worthwhile and find somebody else. Oh god, that deck is just so bad. It's so bad! Okay, it looks like we've got some money and it's going to be Nephros the AI! I kind of wish it was um, the gray guy again, because that would be an awesome thing to see. A nice little rematch. Gonna just go back at toe-to-toe -to -toe with some limbs. <sighs> Infernal Vulture. I'll Oh, that's fine. I'll, uh, deal with that. Um, we're gonna, gonna toss Calvary Field Captain for now, even though he was the all-star from the last game. Um, 
or not the last game, but the last spells with friends. Cause that guy was definitely the all star of the game. Okay, so we got two assassinates. We'll go ahead and drop one on that guy. Just, just let's just remove that threat altogether. Let's also toss back uh, pacify and bring up some more mana from the reserves. Insatiable ghoul, big pain in the butt ski. We'll take that. Okie doke, so we are going to play um Let's play the Elite Vanguard and pop one of those guys. And we'll save that guy for the Bloodborne Prince. Yeah. I expected that. That's not anything new. He's going to go for that guy. We need to put one of these pacifies back. I need mana. Lots and lots of mana. Like all the mana that you can muster. Okay, so we'll pop that. We'll pop that. And... Let's see here. Alright, he'll drop the speed. He'll attack. My guy will win. He gets a Zombo. And we get that. Ooh, weakness emblem. Nice. That is super helpful. So we're going to put Namir's Blessing on him. We want him protected. We're going to flop a weakness emblem on that guy, too. Then we're going to eat him. And eat him. And now he can live through any of the attacks. So, we will... Hmm. We will wait. Okay, that guy's a 5-5, five five, so he's a bit of a problem. Um, We'll take that damage. Don't want to sack that guy just yet. Get a little bit of life back. Which is just tasty. Hmm. Let's pop for one of those. Angelic Might. Let's eat him. Making him a 6-8. And we will kill that guy. Boom. Back up to 22. We might sacrifice Steelhost Spearman. Or we'll lose Steelhost Spearman. That's fine. Um, we will actually toss a pacify. Alright, so we'll take all that. Let's see, 5, 7, 11, 13. Mm, kill that guy. Yep. Okay, down to 10. No big deal. We will Murderous Instinct. Man in a card. Angelic Might. Whack that guy. Whack that guy. Oh, I didn't know it would block all of my attack. That kind of sucks. Well, I will be sending something packing. I just don't know what. Um, let's see. I guess we need to send that guy packing. So now we'll take 8 damage. Hmm... Okie doke. Well, we will weakness emblem that guy. We'll summon that guy. We'll eat that guy. We will elite vanguard. And then we're going to kill that guy. Kill that guy. 
Apologies, I bumped my mic. So there we go. Got some health back. Got some blockers back. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. No, we won't eat him. We'll we'll take the trade. Okay, so we have assassinate, which is nice. So we can kill that guy, we can kill that guy. Um, but it looks like we're going to lose this one. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. So he's going to be able to do 4 damage. Bringing me down to 1. And unless I get something useful, which I did not, um, we'll keep that guy for a blocker. Kill those guys. Get a little bit of health. And we're hanging in there. I don't care. Does he swing? He swings. Well, we will sack that guy instead. How about them apples? Okay, man in a card. Steelhouse Spearman. Very nice. Let's put a weakness emblem on that guy. And go for the kill. Not the kill, the kill. We're gonna kill haul ya! And we're back up to 7 health. Turning it around. Um, we will just keep making this guy a super beast. This is beautiful. 13, 15, we're gonna swing for 13 damage and go up to 20 life in a single hit. Wow. Wow. That's ridiculous. Okie doke. <laughs> we'll put out Temptress of Deceit and we'll just kill that guy. I know I could have also swung at the AI. I probably should have. But I wasn't really thinking. I was just more like, wow, I can't believe we're turning this around. And we are. We are turning this around very quickly. Because we're at 23 health already. And he's down at negative 2 and we got up to 36 before this ended. Wow. Wow. That is a beautiful play. Um, we're going to play against the AI one more time because it's getting late here and I don't think I have enough time to wait out another player. So we will keep that hand. Actually, I'm going to toss one of these shrines back. Mm, we whiffed on the shrine we wanted. Wanted to get an order or a uh, Dominion shrine in here as quickly as possible. Okie doke, we're gonna try that again. Ah, there we go. That is the combination we are looking for. Now we can really start playing this game the way we want to play it. Okie doke, so we've got two mana, we will drop her. See what interactions we can force. Ah, that's the exact interaction I want to force. Perfect. Okay. Gonna put that guy out. That is just fine. Um, let's see, we've got three mana, so we'll go ahead and drop him. And we'll spring for another one of those guys. And you're gonna really? You're gonna boost that guy all the way up there to a seven seven, huh? Nice. Okay, took. So we'll take quite a bit of damage. Um, hmm. What do we want to play here? Say we go with Dwarf Musketeer and Calvary Field Captain to boost that guy up. And we'll swing with these two fellas here. 
Dwarf Musketeer is going to die, I am 99% sure, but that's okay. Yep, Calvary Field Captain's Toast. Okay, that guy is just useless, the Shadow Step Assassin. He is going to be weakness emblemed straight away. Um... So let's see, that's three. You know what, he's not going to be weakness emblem straight away. Because what I need to do is... Dwarf Musketeer. I shouldn't have played the Dwarf Musketeer. Uh, we're going to have to put Murder Instinct on the Dwarf Musketeer then. And play another one of those guys. That's a really bad misplay on my end. Okay, not worried about that. But that that's fine. Take five damage. We'll lose some free people. Don't care. Okay, um... So... Namir's Blessing on our dude there. We will man in a card, which is an excellent exchange. We will eat that guy. Um, we will pop Steelhost Spearman. We'll swing for him and swing for him. He'll block with my Calvary Field Captain. But that's okay. Calvary Field Captain will die. Steelhost Spearman's fine. That's not the best. Um, we'll leave it like that. We're going to take 10 damage. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Uh, we will assassinate the hell out of that guy. We're going to send a Bloodborne Prince back. We are going to... Calvary Field Captain, pump him up. Bloodborne Prince, we're going to kill off both of these people. Swing for one there. So, took his ability to hit us away. And looks like we've stonewall all of his action. So let's start eating some units. And we will swing away with almost everybody. Boom, boom, and two health. So we're back up to five health. Hooray! Pulling it back. Okay, so we can man in a card. And the fact that we can interact with that on the back row and gain life from it is beautiful. Okay, we'll swing with everybody. Hopefully she has nothing that's swift. Okay, alright. And there, and we get 9 health, and down to 3. This is going swimmingly. Okay, so she has a Bloodborne Prince of her own. Interesting. Um, we're going to put a Might Emblem on one of ours. Then we're going to feed him everything. Just he's just gonna eat eat it all. Um You're going to tie that one up, you're gonna tie that one up, you're going to eat that guy. And we're gonna go in for the win. Dead they're dead. And she said, and I'm up to 17. There we go. Down from 3 to 17. I like that a lot. This deck is just so beautiful. The ability to feed those guys and just just eat them and, and, and health and words. Yes. <laughs> really enjoy that deck. It's probably so far my favorite deck to play. Um, well, for anything. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, so that in the comment section below. And as soon as there's an update, I will push out an episode of spells with our spell weaver changes, so that we can look at what's changing. All right. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. Go to master tactician and kill nothing because fireball. I will kill nothing because of fireball. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Hmm. Okay, one of my master types.